guys welcome back okay so as you can see today I want to do a full face of makeup I actually have some new products that I want to try out today some new some old some sent to me most purchased <laughs> but I did have a few items sent to me um, I got this new serum from good molecules they sent me this discoloration correcting serum which i'm really excited to try out because you guys know uh well if you watch me <laughs> all the time then you know my issues are you know my darker areas around my mouth dark circles you know a few spots and things like that around my face so i'm really excited to try this out was not expecting it just showed up in my box so yeah I'm gonna try this out from good molecules this is what it looks like very cool so I'm gonna put some of that on today I also picked up the ColourPop pretty fresh hyaluronic hydrating foundation been wanting to try this like for real for real so I'm gonna try this out today I also got sent a palette funny thing is I had already purchased this palette myself because I wanted to try it out and I, I believe I showed it like in my last beauty chat video the beauty by stony remedy eyeshadow palette shortly after I purchased it they reached out to me and was like hey we want to send you some stuff you want to try it out so they sent me a palette <laughs> of theirs to try out for you guys so I'm gonna try this out today so as a result I have two which means you know what giveaway <laughs> so yeah I got a palette to give away because I bought one I got one so I'm gonna give it away don't know how I'm gonna do that giveaway but I'm gonna give it away to one of you guys okay they also sent me one of their lipsticks this is charm lip lip addiction so this is what the box looks like very cute and it looks like the color is really pretty as well let me show you what it looks like then we can start putting some stuff on my face so this is what their packaging looks like very pretty nice and sleek i think it's a gorgeous gorgeous shade so i'm gonna be trying this out today along with their eyeshadow palette so let's go ahead and just start putting some stuff on my face i'm gonna start out with some of this serum here because it says i can use it daily and i can use it prior to other serums oils and moisturizers so before i go in with my moisturizer i'm gonna try some of this out okay so it has a little bit of like a milky milky consistency or milky color to it doesn't smell like anything and it's not too watery I like serums that are not too watery because they're not hard to apply okay so far so good it feels nice it absorbed into my skin very quickly it's already absorbing in so I really like that now I'm gonna go in with some of this Elemis rose facial oil and I want to go in with a little bit of this kind of focusing it around my nose quite honestly because on the sides of my nose for some reason it's just it gets so dry so yeah I want to focus that mainly in that area although this rose oil is very nice I kind of steer away from oils just because of the fact that you know I don't want my skin to be too oily under my makeup but this is actually very nice it's very light and it doesn't make me feel like greasy after I put my foundation on and this Elemis rose oil it smells really really good and lastly, I'm gonna go in with some of Mama Mon. This is the Rose Water Gel Cream. Love this stuff, you guys. It smells amazing, and it feels so good to the skin. Okay, now that my face is nicely hydrated, I'm gonna go in with some of my P. Louise Base in Rumor 04, prep my lids, and then we will move into this eyeshadow palette. 
Okay, you guys, so you might hear some noise in the background because we're having some work done in our kitchen. I apologize if you can hear it, but I just had to film today. <laughs> okay, so I have my lids prepped. Let's go ahead and jump into this palette. Oh my gosh, these shades are so, so pretty. Let me do a few swatches right quick. Okay, you guys, so these are all the swatches from the palette. Very, very pretty. Hmm, I am not sure what I'm gonna do today, but y'all know, I typically wing it anyway, so let's just jump right in. So I think I'm gonna start out with this shade here, which is called Blush. Okay, so that color is very pretty. It definitely looks like a nice blush shade. Very pretty. Okay, so next I'm gonna try out this really pretty shade. It's an orange tone shade called Spice. And I just wanna place that above blush. And I just wanna kinda of blend those two colors together on my lid. I really like these kind of like sunset, sunrise type of shades blended together. Well, that's pretty and she's nicely pigmented too. Now I'm just gonna take a clean brush just to kind of fade that really pretty kind of orangey shade out. Okay, so I have that blended out a little bit better. I think I'm gonna turn my lights down so it's nice so bright in here. Okay, I think that's a little bit better to see the color better. Um, I have the lights bright so I can see what I'm doing, but I want you guys to be able to see the color really well, so. Okay, what's next? Purple. Purple. Okay, so I'm gonna go into this really pretty dark purple here, and I'm going to kinda focus that in the outer and maybe draw or drag a little bit into the crease. I immediately saw the difference from when I turned the light down. It's like, it's funny because to you guys, you're like, oh, it's completely lit. You know, you can totally see, but for me, it's like almost dark in here. <laughs> it's borderline dark in here. So I'm just like, okay. And the purple, I will say it does have quite a bit of kick up in the pan, but it is really pigmented though. So hopefully it blends out well. I don't think I wanna do like a harsh cut crease today. I think I wanna do something maybe a little bit softer, but I do want to have that gold shimmer on my lid. Yeah, this color is really pretty. Very pretty, nicely pigmented, and it's blending out just fine. Okay, so we have those three colors blended together nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my edges a little bit. And let's do a little razzle dazzle on the lid. Okay, so this gold is calling my name. It's so, so pretty. I really wanna use that today. So I think I'm gonna go in with some of that and place it on the inner portion of my lid. So I'm gonna see how it looks without spraying my brush first. Okay, so it has a little bit of pigment, not anything super beaming so now I'm gonna go in and spray my brush okay 
okay and I'm just gonna go in and tap just a little bit more of that purple on the outer portion just to kind of get a nice fade from that gold okay you guys so I really really like that gold it's really pretty it's bright enough it's not like that super duper like blinding bright but it's really really pretty I like that okay so let me throw on some eyeliner and then we'll move on to the face okay you guys so for primer I'm gonna go in with my Tarte double duty beauty base tape hydrating primer that's a mouthful this is one of my favorite hydrating primers right now so we're gonna use this today So y'all, my skin should be like seriously moisturized and hydrated, okay? And this primer smells like coconut. I really like it. I think I ordered a backup of this from the Boxy add-ons, the last add-ons. I think I grabbed a backup. I hope I did. So for this ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hydrating Foundation. I grabbed the shade Dark 175W. I felt like it was kind of like a neutral type shade and the closest to what might match me. So we'll find out, okay? I don't know if I should do brush or sponge with this, um, but I am going to go in and take care of my dark circles with my NYX HD Concealer. Because since this is, I don't think this is full coverage. I think it might be light medium or something. So yeah, I'm going to try and work on my dark circles right quick. Okay, so I think I'm gonna use a brush for my foundation today just to get the most coverage. Okay, so this is what half of my face is looking like with this foundation. Very healthy, very hydrating. It is neutral. <laughs> it's very neutral because I can see my undertone in my chest and not in my face, which is okay because the next color, I feel like it was just too orange. So I'm okay with the neutral undertone, you know, for this foundation but it's looking really nice so far. Okay, so let me do the rest of my face. So this is with, without. It's funny because I feel like the W in the shade name stands for warm, right? But this looks neutral to me. You guys let me know, it did not look warm to me. So, I don't know. Maybe it's just how it's blending with my skin tone, but yeah, it definitely looks more neutral to me than warm. But I actually really like this coverage. I think using the brush was a good idea. I think if I use a sponge, I probably won't get the coverage that I need for my skin. Okay, so let's throw on some concealer. I'm gonna use my Juvia's Place in the shade 11. You guys know this is my favorite. So I'm gonna throw this on and then move on to powder. And with this Juvia's, I always use too much. <laughs> you do not need a lot at all. But for some reason, I always go ham.
Okay, so I have my concealer all blended in. I'm still using my Iman face powders that I pulled from my last shot, my stash. And so I'm gonna go in with this one here. This is a lighter one in the shade Clay Medium, just for my highlighted areas. I really like these powders. They're nice, easy to use, not too bright. It sets very nicely, you know, for a pressed powder to use with a brush. Sets very nicely. And this is a Juvia's Place brush, I believe. I'm not sure if there's a number on there or not, but <laughs> I don't think so. But it's definitely from one of my Juvia's Place sets. I like the shape of it because it's nice and thick, but it comes to a point. So it's like perfect for placing powder like under your eyes and things like that. Gets in there real good. Does anybody else's nose start running like crazy whenever you're putting powder on? <laughs> my nose just immediately starts running. Okay, for the rest of my face, I'm going to powder with another Iman powder. This one is in Earth Dark. And I really like this powder, you guys. I really do. It's really nice and warm and earthy. <laughs> so I like it. It sets nicely, stays all day very complimentary I like it a lot I would definitely repurchase it And for bronzer today, you guys, I have to be careful with this. This is one of my bronzers from the Lip Bar. I love their packaging, it's so cute. This one is Double Date. And it's not even the darkest one, you guys, but it works perfectly for my skin, but it's extremely pigmented, so gotta be careful, okay. Now this bronzer also comes with a blush, so it's a dual compact with a bronzer and a blush. So, so nice. Not sure if I want to use this blush today. I also pulled one of my minted blushes because I knew I was going to do some purple with this eye look. So, yeah, I'm kind of still undecided if I want to go with the orangey type blush or the kind of magenta type blush. I'm kind of leaning towards my minted. So let's go ahead and do some bronzing right quick. You guys see how quickly that bronzer <laughs> shows up so and I'm just barely tapping in here so you got to be careful you know I feel like I kind of have a little bit too much but you definitely have to be careful it's very very pigmented okay you see that bronze <laughs> It's definitely pigmented. Okay, so I think I am going to go in with my minted blush today. I'm really feeling this color. This one is in the shade Buried Away. And for highlight, I'm going to finally use my Ofra On The Glow highlighter and bronzer palette. So I think I'm kind of leaning towards this one down here. Looks like it's gonna be super bright. So we're gonna use that one today. And Ofra has some of the best highlighters. So I never really worry <laughs> when I'm using an Ofra highlighter because their highlighters are just absolutely gorgeous. Wow. 
because even if I put too much, it's like they kind of just blend seamlessly with the skin to where it just, you know, makes your face look, look like it's just glowing. So yeah, I love over highlighters. So pretty. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump back into these eyes. I'm going to use one of my LA Girl Shockwave Neon Aligners. Of course, this bright purple one. And below that, I'm going to go in with this dark matte purple shade. What is that? Called plum. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with plum and just smoke out just a little bit below that purple. That shade is so dark. It's very dark. But because there's fallout, you have to be careful after you do your face. Who is she pigmented? <laughs> okay. So let's tone her down a little bit. I'm gonna go back into the shade Blush and just kinda dust a little bit of that under that purple. Okay, and I may as well go in with a little bit of that orange to make the bottom match the top. Okay, oh girl is pigmented, okay? Y'all see that? That orange is like just as pigmented as that purple, sheesh. She's very pretty though, and I really like the fact that these shadows blend together very nicely. No patchiness. Okay, so in this palette, these three shades here are like the lightest shades. And I really don't think I wanna use any of these for my inner corner pop. I'm already using the, well, this one is actually really pretty. You know what I am, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and use this shade here which is chemistry. So yeah, I'm gonna use chemistry for my inner corner pop. I wanna see how bright it's going to be. Cause I don't really think it's that bright, but I think it might be just bright enough for the pop. Yeah, that's bright enough. Okay, yeah, I really like how that looks. I just kind of, you know, just kind of dragged it up a little bit into the eye look and down the lower lash line just to kind of brighten up that whole inner area. I like it, definitely bright enough. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, pop on some lashes and mascara, and then we can try out this matte liquid lipstick that I got from Beauty by Stony. Okay, you guys, so I have on my lashes and I put on a little bit of mascara on my lower lash line. All the products that I'm using today, I'm gonna to go ahead and list them down in the description box below. But I do wanna go ahead and try out this Ciate London Everyday Vacay Setting Spray. Got this in my BoxyCharm. I believe it smells like coconut, coconuts. <laughs> so I'm gonna try this. Okay, so yeah, this smells really good, feels good. So we'll see how it holds my makeup in place. Now for the lips. I'm gonna use my Tammy and Revolution um, Collab Lip Liner in the shade Glory. And now I'm gonna go in with this Beauty by Stoney Matte Lipstick. What shade is this? Charm. So this is the shade Charm. Y'all, I feel like my face is so nicely hydrated today from the serum to the moisturizer to the primer to the foundation. I don't feel dry anywhere, okay? <laughs> so this is what the applicator looks like. Just a tiny doe foot. That's pretty. Got out the lines a little bit. Very comfortable. Oh, I like that color. 
this is a color that I wouldn't have necessarily picked for myself so I'm very pleasantly surprised at the shade and how it looks on my skin tone very pretty I like it very comfortable so I'm gonna let it dry down and see you know if it gets sticky or flaky nope still very very comfortable not sticky it's been drying down for about a minute so very minimal transfer as you can see right there I can see a little bit that could just be from <laughs> my liner actually but yeah I like that I'm very very surprised at this lipstick the color and the finish of it because it's not like super drying extremely comfortable I like it so I will keep you guys posted on how it lasts throughout the day so this is it you guys for my face I think I've tried everything that I wanted to try today the foundation I love it it the color seemed a bit neutral for me, but I think with my powder and concealer and all that stuff, that it's a decent match. It's probably the closest that I would have come for this ColourPop Pretty Fresh foundation. I like it. The What is it? The finish is nice, okay? I'm gonna keep using this uh, serum, this discoloration serum from Good Molecules. I have high hopes for this, okay? I like their products a lot. My favorite is their moisturizing primer. Absolute favorite. That one and the Tarte, love those. So yeah, I think, did I try anything else new? This Ciate London Spray, I like it a lot. We'll just see if it makes my makeup last or if I just like it. The lipstick, the palette. So like I said in the beginning, you guys, I have two palettes because I bought one and after I bought it, they sent me one. <laughs> so of course, I'm going to keep the one that I used for myself. But this brand new palette, I think what I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to pick a random name from this video. Okay. So if you want to have a chance to win this, make sure you're subscribed to me, like this video and leave me a comment of some sort. Doesn't have to be anything specific because I'm just going to go through and pick a random person for this palette okay so pretty exciting I like the palette as you can see it's nicely pigmented the shades blend together beautifully the shimmers are gorgeous it's a nice palette okay so I have to say thank you to Beauty by Stony for letting me try it out okay this video is not sponsored either they just sent it to me told me to try it out so I like it, okay? So that's it for this video today, you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, and I will see you on the next one. Doodles!